Hello, so welcome to my first ever tutorial um, which I'm doing because I searched everywhere for this kind of help and I think I'm just going to try and pass the knowledge on other people who are stuck in the same position so I'm going to show you two things today I'm going to show you how to split your keyboard into two different parts and the second time round I'll show you how to split your Axiom 61 controller keyboard into four parts so let's start so we need to select some sounds which I've already done here um, using the VST instrument drop down so on channel 1 I've got acid synth and on 2 I've got a bass guitar ok nice so let's do the splits so you go into the transform section which is I'll just show you right there go to local and then let's just put this back in here you need to add a track value 1 and you go to outside of range and then this is where you set your two split points so we'll split this we'll set the split point right at the bottom so I'm going to press the key right at the bottom of the keyboard which we'll is set it there Go to parameter 2 and then I'll set it roughly halfway up the keyboard. So that's that side done. Got the bass guitar section. Do pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to add value 1 outside of range and then parameter I'm going to set from the halfway up the keyboard to right at the top. Okay. Let's take them off. And then now you need to select the two tracks like this. And so you should have bottom half, top half. So I'll just show you what I mean by that. Set the camera off. So we go That's that side of it done. Uh, so that's how easy that was. So let's try the second part. So the second part I'm going to show you how to split your Axiom keyboard into four parts. Um, I use the Enigma program to control the Axiom 61 because it's just so much easier than having to fiddle around with the little buttons and going screen on screen. You've got everything here in front of you. So as you can see, I've set up four different zones see there you go in zone one I've set the MIDI track one zone two MIDI track two zone three MIDI track three and zone four MIDI track four so you go at the top here I'll show you all the data three four and also on the presets I've set up on channel three on the splits so when you've got all that data there send it to the keyboard which should start to look like this and then obviously you make sure you've got it on the same split okay right back to the QBS so I kind of set this up earlier so what I'm going to show you is how to set the four channels up so it'll correspond to the Axiom keyboard so we'll go back into the transform take off what I had before and this time you add the track again go to channel unequal MIDI the parameter is the MIDI channel so that's channel 1 and then go to MIDI 2 local get rid of what we've done before add the channel again unequal this time MIDI channel 2 come out of there go into 3 and these should already be set up there you go 3 come out of there and 4 is already set up ok let's put the camera back and this time you just highlight them all again 
and you should have your keyboard spread up in four parts, so let's have a try. Split one. Split two. Split three, split four. Just to prove I'm not cheating. It's so I've got Split one, split two, split three, and split four. And um, that will come in really handy if you don't want to use a million keyboards when playing live on stage. And yeah, it's just a total joy. And obviously, you can have four zones, three zones, or just the, the split. Um, so there you go. I hope that's coming some use for all the people that were stuck out there just like I was and if you've got any kind of comments or if you want to any kind of help you can just inbox this on my YouTube account and I'll, I'll try and help you out as much as I can okay thanks very much for watching bye